I remember not long ago, I bumped into a lady and she used to work in the building for the last 30 years. And she was in the heritage staircase and she was like, wow, I've walked this stair every single day and I've never even looked at it properly. These landmark projects, you're always a little bit concerned. They're public buildings, which, you know, often people are either demolishing or, or privatising. And so it was just so lovely to have that exchange and actually realise that people understand, like, what we're doing is we're actually just giving these buildings a new lease of life. I'm Michelle Evans, I'm a partner at Make Architects. I'm the lead architect on Capella Sydney, and I've been working on it for the last seven and a half, eight years. Capella Sydney is located in the city of Sydney, 400 metres from Sydney Harbour. So just south of Circular Keith. It's the former Department of Education building, which is part of what we call the Sandstone Precinct. The original brief was very succinct in keeping with Capella as a brand. And that is to tell stories, to bring to life the building, pay homage to the heritage, but also to showcase what Sydney and Australia hospitality is all about. My name is Mark von Arnhem and I'm the general manager of Capella Sydney. We were tasked with trying to set a new benchmark for hospitality in Australia. These buildings were designed at a time where, you know, we needed to essentially adapt them Trying to do that in a beautiful and an integrated and a completely seamless manner was, was a real challenge. When you're converting an old building that was originally always designed in 1912 to be a government building and then transforming that into a hotel, the collaboration and the working together is exceptionally important. The process started with choosing of a wonderful architect and make and then combining that with a wonderful interior design company, Bar Studio. So another kind of key challenge for us is everyone's sort of looking down on us as a building. It wasn't just about designing the four elevations, but it was also about designing what, what you're seeing from above, what we call the fifth elevation. I mean, starting outside of the building, you make your way into Farrah Place, which is part of the development as well, which is the public square that sits in front. Your journey, whether that's as a guest or as a member of the public, kind of starts there. You, when you're coming in, you're journeying through the original kind of architecture and the original interiors. We've taken the original directory boards that were part of the building, and we've restored those directory boards with this beautiful brass surrounds. And then we've added in some amazing Judy Watson pieces to that. So, you know, the marrying of the original elements in the building to new wonderful artworks that are very much a part of our storytelling within the building. You then have the reception and then through to Aperture, which is essentially the new courtyards, which is an all day dining. And we have the public artwork there as well. The whole of the ground floor plane is very much of public use. Anchoring the two southern corners of the building, you have the new McRae Bar. Also Brasserie 1930, which is the new restaurant for the building. And then as you move up through the upper levels of the building in the original sandstone facade, we've got 192 guest rooms in total and then four new levels of new buildings. So essentially smaller guest rooms, which sit in the, in the heritage facade. And then as you go up, the kind of scale and, and feel of the, the rooms changes, where you then get the floor to ceiling new glass. And with that, you get the larger kind of 
wider suites. The other main space is up on level six, which is the wellness. Probably one of the most complex parts of the job in terms of its transformation. We've taken those heritage lanterns and they've very much informed the spaces that sit below them. So under the larger lantern, we've put the pool. And then under the smaller lanterns, we have located the spa treatment rooms. What makes it truly amazing is watching people's faces light up when they walk in. People being able to walk past this building for a very long time, not knowing what was in here and then coming into the building and seeing it transformed into what it is now is basically all the joy that you need. I guess that what I love is that it's so complex, but it's just kind of simple in lots of ways, which is kind of what we want to achieve.